12 Conference Series win for you. Man. Do you do you think about that in the grand scheme of things, or is it just another weekend for you guys? I don't know. It's not just another weekend. It's a, it's a great baseball game. It was a great day for OSU baseball um, from having all these guys back uh, to um, the way the current team played to the incredible crowd we had uh, to the great individual performances today to recognizing some special seniors. I mean, you name it. There was a lot of things that happened today that you know, are really, for me, um, why you do this. And uh, it's pretty pretty fun to watch and you know to uh, see the way the kids responded whether it's Jensen Elliott's performance Max Hewitt's heroics off the bench Colin Simpson doing what Colin Simpson does Trevor Boone doing what he does or all the other great things that the kids did uh, it's just a great day for our program for a lot of really important reasons and so not just another day very special there alluded to it a little bit. Is this the deepest you think you guys have been? It seems like any time a man goes down, you've got another guy there. Well, when kids come off the bench and respond like that, it sure does feel that way, doesn't it? Um, you know, we've had some injuries, which uh, you go into every season knowing that's a poss potential possibility, and you need to be ready for it. And uh, we lost Dylan Gardner for the vast majority of the year. We lost McCusker for a month. We've lost Bryce Carter for bits and pieces, probably up to a month with his concussion and injuries. And then Huey goes down, Max comes off the bench and delivers, you know, and um, so that's what a true team does. And uh, there's a number of kids to to uh, be proud of for staying in the moment and waiting for their turn. And when they got it, they, they wanted to deliver for their team. And that's uh, it's an important part of your team culture if you have one. If you don't have that, then you don't have a team. What happened with Houston? Strain the muscle, jumping for the ball. Do you know he might, he might be out for or just? I do not. Okay. Coach, obviously, Jensen can get uh, early. They hit him pretty well, but it seemed like he settled in after that. And, yeah, I, I told Jensen that's the most mature game I've ever seen him pitch, and maybe the best game he's ever pitched because after the early innings where he wasn't quite as sharp and he settled in and pitched dominant baseball against an excellent, excellent offensive team. And he did that and was able to self-correct within a matter of an inning. And earlier in the year, he didn't, he didn't have that ability. So that's a, real, that's a real growth moment for him to know that no matter what happens, I can go out and get myself gathered and an average start can turn into a great ending. And that's uh, just awesome. I mean, that's, that's real growth now. That's, if it's going great, I'm great. If it's not going great, I'm not great. No, no, that was, it's not going great, but I'm still great and I'm going to find a way to flip it. And that, in coaching, when you see that happen for a player, that's pretty, that's pretty transformational for his career. And Coach Walton and him have worked awfully hard together. There's been a lot of heart-to-hearts and a lot of teaching, learning, sharing, and, and a lot of buy-in to allow that to happen. He's been going late into games for you know, a couple months now, but how beneficial is it? That's usually on the series opener. How beneficial is it now going into tomorrow, only having using three pitches yeah. this week? Well, we definitely have a bullpen available for sure, um, which is good. Um, you know, the conference tournaments are just right around the corner as well, and that's a short turnaround. So, you know, the fact that we're not overextended in pitching at this point, you know, we may have somebody available for the early stage of the conference tournament as well since we haven't had to blow out our bullpen, so to speak. So um, I'm just real proud of the kids. A lot of guys deserve, uh, deserve a lot of praise for a lot of really important and tangible things that sometimes are – Invisible to the naked eye, but you know they're going on within your team. And did yesterday's performance that big win? How did that factor into today? Did that factor in at all in their like confidence coming into this game? I don't know. I mean, maybe, but I can tell you, yesterday's game didn't have anything to do with how those last six innings played out. You know, those were that moment in time. Those pitches thrown, those pitches hit, and caught the whole deal, right? So, you know, I, I get momentum and all that jazz, but tonight's ball game was a completely different story than yesterday's ball game. Last night's game. And we pulled away and ran off. Today's ball game, that's neck and neck, toe to toe, blow for blow to the last inch on that great plate in the game. So I think tonight's game had a, a real personality in and of itself. Did you have an advantage point in that last out? No, I didn't. I mean, I stand right there, and yeah. you know, from there, you don't, you know, so. Glad, glad the umpire got the good look and got it right, and glad that the video confirmed that he did. Are you soaking in every last second you can of moments like these in the stadium? Probably today more than any, yeah, to be honest with you.
The other days, not so much. I, I'm not wired that way. Um, I can't get caught up in that. If I do, then I let everybody else down for not being responsible and on top of my job. But today meant a lot to me. What made today so much different? Ways? I don't know. Maybe just the, the old guys being back. I think seeing those guys, like, I mean, those were, you know, I used to imitate those guys. I used to want to be those guys. I used to, you know, I used to look at those guys like they were larger than life, and now I get to stand there kind of as one of them, but I still felt like a little kid, you know, even though maybe I'm not a little kid anymore, I felt like one. And um, just to see him back. You know, when people drop what they're doing in life and spend money to travel a long distance and go somewhere, that, that's a commitment on someone's end. That, that's not everyday stuff. And to see this many guys come back is really, it's really cool. Um, and I, to see Coach Ward out here and my father and other coaches who brought those guys here 20, 30, 40 years ago, to see that is probably why you coach. Is it nice to kind of recognize Rex and the Chief? With the, that sure. Every recognition that's occurred this year to folks that have made this place what it is, very meaningful. I mean, this doesn't happen without great radio or great facilities people or great managers, great players. I mean, all the folks that are part of this are they're key, you know. If uh, Hub Roberts, one of the seniors, doesn't come to work one day, you know it because the laundry's not done. If Colin Simpson doesn't show up and play well, you know it because there's no tank there. You know, same could be said with your radio. All across the board, all the people that were honored today, without Joe Lenhart, there's no there's no towel swinging and energy, right? There's all things that every person here brings to our, our baseball family that matter. So we just appreciate them all. And days like today to, to get to show them that are pretty awesome. And whatever you do, please tell the crowd. That was a real baseball crowd tonight. We uh, we had a big time baseball atmosphere and the crowd had a lot to do with it. Do you know about how many guys are back at all? Maybe, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I want to say, I'm, I'm saying it's upwards of 50. There's a nice generation of kids, early 2000s right there. There's a nice generation of early to mid 80s. I've seen uh, some early 90s. Really the only generation uh, not a lot of is, is uh, mine. <laughs> late, late 90s. I, I guess I have to carry the load for these guys until they can get back here. How have you been balancing that? You know, the generations obviously split in their groups. How do you balance that with your team? Stayed up really late and woke up really early to make sure everything that needed to be done got done so that I could spend some time celebrating these guys and being with them. Coach, I know last night, Coach Maisie, what you need to talk about basically maybe this summer. Yep. Any, any thoughts on that? Or? Great concept. I don't, I'm, I don't know that it'll ever happen, but Randy's put a lot of thought into it. And his purpose is for more nights like this where 80 degrees and summertime in towns like Stillwater, Oklahoma, you get 4,000 people instead of, you know, late February when it's 25 and people are trying to start a fire at home and would never think <laughs> about leaving their house. So his plan has a lot of, you know, well, it has a lot of sensibility to it. But it would be, it would require some, some serious uh, forward thinking and some change of thought about our sport. But good for him for caring enough to write something like that.